Mary is three times as old as her son. In twelve years, Mary's age will be one year less than twice her son's age. How old is each now? For the word problems in this section, called age problems, you're going to be dealing with a lot of information. So to help you organize things, it's a good idea to set up a chart. Down the left side of our chart, we're going to list our people that are involved in this problem. In this case, Mary and her son. I'm going to put the son first, and then Mary, even though the order here doesn't matter. So what do we know about Mary and her son? Well, we know something about their ages now, and we know something about their ages in 12 years. So that's what we put across the top of our chart. Age now, and age in 12 years. Let's take a look at the first sentence in our problem. Mary is three times as old as her son. So if we use X to represent the son's age now, we can use 3X to represent Mary's age now. If the son's age now is X, his age in 12 years is going to be X plus 12. Mary's age in 12 years will then be 3x plus 12. Our goal in this problem is to find the value of x, because x represents the son's age now. And look at what the problem is asking. How old is each of them now? If we can find the son's age now, x, we can easily find Mary's age now, which is 3x, and we have our answer to the problem. But in order to find x, we need to set up an equation. And to do that, we use the second sentence in the problem. So reading through the second sentence, we start with, in 12 years. That tells us that all the information in our equation is going to come from this second column, the age in 12 years column. So in 12 years, Mary's age, that's 3x plus 12, will be equals one year less than twice her son's age. That's 2 times x plus 12 minus 1. Solving this equation, we can find that x equals 11. What that means is that the son's age now is 11. So Mary's age now is 3 times 11, or 33. So her son is 11, and Mary is 33. And that's our answer.